السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I welcome all of you once again to my channel Sufyan Bhoira We move towards the seerah of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم It's rightly said it's uh, we as Muslims cannot be a good practicing Muslims unless we have read the seerah of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم and have not perfected our, our Iman unless Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم is more dearer to us than our own family members Now this is the incident that happened between the Battle of Badr and Battle of Uhud A number of expeditions took place but few of these expeditions out rightly breached the constitution of Medina for common aid and defense by the non-believers at the time of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم now, the, the, the prime suspect who was openly known for his deceitful and deceptive tactics was being mentioned in the books of history and in the seer of Rasulullah Kaab ibn al-Ashraf was dealt with in a manner that deemed fit. Now, he was born to an Arab father and a Jewish mother of Banu Nadir. He was very rich. He lived in his own fortress, was known for his handsomeness, was the chief or the leader of Banu Nadir and was a famous poet. Now, poetry at that time served as a strongest form of media and propagation. It had the power to rage wars amongst the Arab tribes and also had the power to subdue and end some of the Arab, uh, some of the wars amongst the Arab tribes. It also had the ability to change the mindset and opinion of the masses. Now, Kaab's animosity towards Islam was demonstrated right from the beginning, very early on was seen, was noticed during the change of Qibla, just two or three months into Hijra where he starts mocking Muslims when the, when, when, when the change of Qibla happened. And Allah reveals the same in the Quran in ayat number 142 of chapter number 1, Surah Al-Baqarah, where Allah says, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ سيقول السفهاء من الناس ما ولاهم عن قبلتهم التي كانوا عليها قل الله المشرق والمغرب يهدي من يشاء إلى صراط for Allah says, the fools amongst them will say, what has turned them from their Qibla to which they used to face in their prayer? Tell them, to Allah belongs both the East and the West. And it is Allah who guides whom he wills. Also during the commandment of Zakat was revealed by Rasulullah Kaab being very rich was extremely stingy. He tried to enforce this stinginess onto his friends who had recently converted to Islam, where he tried to persuade and convince them not to part with any of their wealth in the form of zakat. Now, that, now this was his thinking that do not be hasty in getting rid of your wealth for you would become poor. And unfortunately, I must say that this is the thinking of most of the people even in today's time where they feel that they would go poor if they were to part with any of the blessings that Allah has bestowed on them. But if the world were to take serious heed to this commandment of Rasulullah of giving 2.5% of their wealth as charity, subhanAllah, it would eradicate poverty from its root. Anyways, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals this uh, antics of uh, Kaab in, in uh, Surah An-Nisa in ayat number 37 where Allah says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Alladheena yabkhaloon wa yamurun al-nas bil-mukhl wa yaktumun ma atahum Allah min fadlih. وَاعْتَدَنَا لِلْكَافِرِينَ عَذَابًا مُهِينًا Where Allah says, those who are stingy and commands others to be stingy and hide the bounties that Allah has bestowed upon them for verily for such Allah has 
prepared a disgraceful torment. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from such disgraceful torments. Also, when Kaab heard the news from Zaid bin Haritha radiallahu ta'ala anhu after the battle of Badr that so and so uh, have died, it was it came as a shock to him. So he sarcastically starts saying that it's better to be inside the ground than to be outside. What he meant was it's better to be dead than be alive. If, if it's true that so and so chief uh, has passed away, has died in the battle of Badr. Now, when the victory of Badr was fully manifested in front of him, he undertook a secret expedition with, uh, with a small group from Banu Nadir to meet Abu Sufyan in Makkah and form an alliance against Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and Muslims. Although we don't have the uh, details of this alliance, but it's quite clear that he met them particularly to fight or take revenge against Muslims. And Allah reveals a portion of their conversation in Quran where uh, Abu Sufyan is asking Kaab, Ya Kaab, tell me in your opinion, who is better in the religion, whether it's us or it's Muhammad Sallallahu And Kaab replies, Antum ahda minhum sabila. And Allah reveals this uh, conversation to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi in the form of Quran. In uh, verse number 50 of Surah An Nisa again, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alam Tara ila Ladina Utu Nasweebam Minal Kitabi Yuminuna Bil Jibti Watta Hoti Wayakuluna Lil Ladina Kafaru Lil Ladina Kafaru Those who are given portion of the scripture, they believe in Jibd and Tawood and say to the disbelievers that they are better guided than the Muslims. When he returned back from uh, Mecca to Medina after forming the secret alliance with uh, Abu Sufyan, he does the last straw. He writes absolute derogatory and sensual poems with illicit remarks against the Muslim woman. When he stoops low to uh, write their names, where he takes the names of the Muslim women. And uh, to make a point here that it was Kaab's idea and propagation to invite Rasulullah and feed him poison. Although the uh, incident of poison eventually did occur, but after they had taken care of uh, Kaab. But this idea and uh, propagation of feeding poison to Rasulullah was, was Kaab's idea. Now, I want to stop here and would want to ask you to think and ponder and reflect what in today's time, what if somebody commits such heinous crimes against the constitution, what would you or the government do? Now, we'll come back inshallah in the next uh, uh, video where we'll continue and complete this incident. Until then, Jazakumullah khair and kaseera for your time and listening to me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.